are 10 tests in the test series. Uh, the first test is a chill test, and then uh, each step of the start sequence is uh, performed on the next three or four tests. After that, the uh, power level for the J2X engine will be run on the Heritage X33 hardware. Well, it is a major milestone. It's the first uh, large test article to be installed, and we need to get it on the stand on schedule to be able to meet the test series and get the data that the J2X team needs to proceed with critical design on the J2X turbo machinery. This power pack series needs to be completed to get through the critical design review, and then there'll be another power pack 2 series that'll test the J2X turbo machinery, and after that it'll be followed with the first engine sea level test in 2010. The power pack is made from an old J2 engine thrust chamber. It's just a support structure. It was a very convenient and cost-effective support structure since one of the two pumps that we're using on that power pack would mate to it using existing hardware. So that meant to fire this, we only had to make one piece of hardware and a few pieces of one piece of mounting hardware and a few ducts. Uh, it also has a gas generator, which is of heritage design, which would be used to provide the energy for the pumps. Power Pack 1A is a test module primarily to test turbo machinery. Uh, we were in a real unique situation uh, on this program in that we had pertinent hardware uh, that we could use to check uh, performance and wear characteristics of the turbo machinery. Uh, we also were in a very unique position to have this hardware early to test out the test stand.